There are three ways to set up media on the GR series cutter. I'm going to show you the first way, which is loading a roll of material. There's also going to be piece and edge. In this case, we're going to select roll and press the enter button. The pinch rollers are now going to engage, as you see by the flashing light on the pinch roller button. And as soon as the pinch rollers are engaged, the head carriage is going to move across the platen, holding for size between the two pinch rollers. The head carriage is moving across, locating the far left pinch roller, and coming back across to locate the far right pinch roller. And this will give us our total width that's available for this particular loaded piece of media. The second option we're going to demonstrate today is going to be edge. This is to locate the front edge of a piece or a roll of material. The same operation, we're going to select edge and press enter. The head carriage moves over to the far left to gauge the left controller for width, but this time we have some movement in the feed direction. This is to allow the sensors on the GR to locate the front edge of the material. Again, it's going to read the right controller and give us our total width for this particular loaded piece of media. The third and final option is going to be for piece. Again, we'll use our arrows to select piece and hit enter. The carriage is going to move across again to the left pinch roller to gauge the total width of the material, but this time you'll notice that the material is going to shift all the way forward in the feed direction. This is to allow for the sensors on the GR to give us not only that width that we're looking for, but also the total length of the piece of media that's been loaded. The media now will return back to its origin and the head carriage will move back across the platen to the right. This will complete the operation, giving us our total width and feed direction lengths for the GR in this particular loaded piece of media.